Hey YouTubers, this is a fight between two kickboxing fighters, Joseph Vitale and Raymond Daniels, the real deal. So let's get into the breakdown and we're going to go over this situation and see how exactly Joseph Vitale won. The 4 and 0 record on the line. Record 10 wins with just one. First round with Raymond Daniels running in and out, blitz and jumping in and out with kicks. That's a lot of movement that'll tire you out as the fight goes on. But he continues. He's hard to catch. Fatali is having a real problem, but this is where it started. You see him walking away at this point instead of running away. He's already starting to wear down. Like he backed himself to that corner. Now he has to fight as Vitaly pounds on him and kicking him with the leg kicks too. Raymond is being forced to fight and clinch at this point because he's getting tired. And he's also in pain. But he's just trying to make it out of the round at this point. He's probably one on points alone. So he's going to continue his blitzes. But the problem with these blitzes is that he runs into him and he gets kicked in the leg. And he had, he's off balance. It doesn't have any real power. I mean, it hurts because there's a big 200-pound man crashing into you, but not the full effect if he do it properly. Two people in there working on Raymond Daniels conditioning. It's him and his opponent. These ineffective punches making him work harder, and he's backing himself into a corner against a guy who has conditioned shins. You see that he just threw a hard punch right there, causing Vitaly to back up, and he's repaid with a gut check. But if he threw more effective punches, he wouldn't have to move around so much. Now, this knockdown came more so because Vitaly was throwing a kick and was squared up when Raymond Daniels threw a straight right hand towards, it looks like, his chest or chin area, and he was simply off balance, so it was ruled a slip. And that's pretty much the end of the first round. Raymond Daniels barely gets out of round one as he wins round one based off the of points. As we go into the next round, there's going to be a pattern that starts to emerge. You can already see it now. So Valtellini on a much aggressive start with the white gloves. He connects with the inside. Raymond Daniels is off balance with his kicks and with his punches. He lunges in too far, and then he has to regain his balance in front of the person that's attacking him. So these leads to leg kicks and body shots. He can't get away because of the method on how he's fighting. And you know what happens with leg kicks and body shots? It'll wear you down. And that's exactly what's happening. Not to mention, after every attack, once after he gets kicked, he feels he needs to run away or walk away in this situation because he no longer can run away. The strategy for this fight with Raymond, with Raymond Daniels is all wrong. He needs to go back and work on putting power into his punches. Of the fight, what has been a competitive affair thus far. I am convinced that Volatini is trying to give Raymond Daniels that old Anderson Silva uh, floppy leg at this point because he is just destroying his legs. The body and legs are gone at this point. He's just a shell. Now we're going to round three. I'm surprised Raymond Daniels isn't in a wheelchair right now. The man has heart, but he has no idea on how to win this fight at this point. It's simply, he's just taking unnecessary punishment at this point. As we go into the third and final round, Vanilli continues his pressure attack by landing more punches now to the head and more kicks to the legs into the body. He's going to make Raymond Daniels make a mistake and clinch the victory. 